and they would hug me. I was shocked. I was shocked. This is not what I expected. I'm here in Saudi Arabia now for seven and a half years. I came here to work on a project involving Quran. I was here only to proofread the new translation of a Quran being done by Dr. Safi Kaskas. Um, I had never read Quran before. I didn't know anything about Islam. All I knew about Saudi Arabia was that uh, I, what I was told in America that if I come here it was very dangerous. When I arrived here, I was sleeping in this very building. And uh, I was afraid to walk out on the street. And Dr. Safi Kaskas, my, he was my sponsor. I went to Dr. Safi and I said, I need to go to the supermarket. I would like to buy some food to eat. I said, uh, how can I go there? And he took me to the window of his office and he pointed down the street and he said, you can find food there. And then I said, well, can your driver take me? He said, no, my driver's off today. So I began to walk. I would walk around the neighborhood here and people would come out of their homes. They would greet me and they would say, where are you from? And I'd say, my name is Samuel. I'm from the United States. And they would hug me. I was shocked. I was shocked. This is not what I expected. And when I went to the supermarket, people would come up to me, where are you from? And I would say, I'm from America. And they would say, Alan was Alan to Saudi Arabia. They would invite me to their home for dinner, for chai, for tea, for coffee. I got to know many people here. Every night I was reading this new English translation of the Quran. My responsibility in the project was not to translate. I didn't know Arabic. My responsibility was only to proofread the English, to make sure the English was correct. So every night I'm reading English Quran, writing down questions, and every morning meeting with Dr. Safi in his office and asking questions. I'm very happy to to describe for you the, my first experience of Hajj. In 20, I came here in December 2011. I became a Muslim in June uh, 2012. And then on the Hajj of 2013, I was able to complete Hajj. Some people, some friends from Masjid Taqwa here in Jeddah asked me if I wanted to do Hajj. I said, yes, I do. I wanted to walk. So I walked uh, on the beginning of Hajj. We met in um, Mecca. We did, uh, we went inside the, uh, the Holy Mosque and the Kaaba, I saw the Kaaba doing Tawaf. And uh, then after that, we walked to, to uh, Minawadi. And from Minawadi to Masr, Masrila. From there to to the mountain top of Arafat, and there we prayed. Here I am, ten years later, sitting in Saudi Arabia. You know the mosque that I knocked on the door. They built apartment for me in the mosque next to the imam. Shafiq, the one who opened the door and hugged me and said, Alan was Alan, he lives upstairs above me with his family. Uh, if you had told me 10 years ago when I was running for mayor, no, you're not going to be mayor. You're going to be living, you're going to be a Muslim. You're going to be living in a mosque in Saudi Arabia. I want to say that Hajj was a great blessing in my life. It was like a spiritual cleansing. It was like forgiveness for all the sins that I had committed in this lifetime. Only God can write this story. 
and I'm very happy, very proud to be Muslim, to be able to pray to Allah five times a day, and to have friends that love me and care for me here in Saudi Arabia.